I am calling upon every Zambian of goodwill to make sure that such ladies who are coming with insults to insult the nationhood of Zambia, when you insult one man, you have insulted all of us. And all of us as men, we must rise and challenge these young girls who are uncultured and African girls without sense, without brains, who are coming out to insult the head of state. Because when you insult one man, you have insulted all of us. And we cannot tolerate insults from a small young girl. A small thing, a small young girl coming up in the name of Zambia. No, she must be brought to book. She must be brought to book. It must be put in record. President Hagaine Tsemasa, let me say this to you. Not everybody will love you. Moreover, you as President Hitlema, you know what we went through before you became president. Because you must know that President Hagaine Tsemasa, you were the most, one of the most hated politicians in Zambia. Don't think that you can advise President Hagaine Tsemasa at the moment about, oh, elections are coming. 2021, 2026, we'll see. Elections are coming. 2026, we'll see. President Hagaine Tsemasa knows that 2026 is coming. And he's working. He's trying to do whatever he can do within his powers. So we cannot tolerate young people and cultured women to start undressing a man called the president. We cannot tolerate uncultured women. These girls without a tradition, these girls without a culture and a background, these girls who have run as economic refugees in these other countries, these girls who have gone because they are lazy to work in Zambia, they have gone to scavenge in Europe, and they have gone to scavenge in America, and today we want to, 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 to tolerate them to insult our, our men in Zambia. We are saying no, not in our name. Kaunda was running a country with, with less than 8 million people. Less than 8 million people. Chiluba was running a country with about 10 to 11 million people. Are we together? Sata was running a country with about 14 million people. Sata was running a country with about 14 million people. <laughs> Edgar Lungu was running a country with about 16 million people. Today, Akainde Itzrem is running a country with about 18 to 19 million people going to 20 million people. And the economy is still not the same. The way things are done is not the same. So don't begin to say, this one was better than this one, this one. Everyone has got his own assignment as a leader. And I clap for all of them. I mean, they have their own flaws. But you, if we have to speak to your father, your biological father, some of you, your fathers failed even to rear chickens. Some of you who are insulting Akainde Itzrema today, your father failed even to sunge mbwa, uteke mbwa, ba wishinu ba refirwa, imbwa share mutuke kuchipiyu, share ya. And today you want to say, Akainde Itzrema na firwa kuteke chalo, koma ba wishinu ba refirwa kuteke mbwa, ba refirwa kuteke ngombe, Ingombe shale butuka shale ala munga matanga ya beni. Imbuwa shale butuka shale mkuli ya misebo. Na imuwewe neto mwa butuki la mwa Afrika. Mwa mkufuwa efi ya kuli ya kuwa Amerika. Because eko mwa fuma. Mwa wishinu baadhi ifirwa. So, eri omuwa na wamu nenu wa rey shako. And I'm saying this. Not to please anybody. Not even to please President Hakainde Ichirema. I am upset because... Nobody should insult a president of any country. Not a president of South Africa, not a president of, of, of Ghana, not a president of Uganda. We must not insult our presidents. We must respect them for the level of leadership that they are at.